I'd be happy to help. People of the Commonwealth, do not interfere. Our intentions are peaceful. We are the Brotherhood of Steel. And right, we're back again. Um, where do we leave off? We did... So where are we off to next? Shut up, Kate. We did that stupid thing, didn't we? In um, the Institute. Where I didn't think. Because then Maxon just chewed my ass out. But he told us to go see Pringram. Pink Pringram? Pringham, like the Pringles, eh? <laughs> Ingram. Uh, apparently there's a plan B. So, let's see what the plan B is. Proctor. So, I bet you're eager to get your hands dirty on our new project. How much has Maxon told you about it? He didn't tell me anything. Makes sense. We've been trying to keep it under wraps until the time was right. Come on. It's this way. Unless you're blind as a bat, I'm sure you've noticed that we've been building a gantry on the tarmac. Maxon and Kells have been looking for something that will tip the balance when we go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Institute. Now, the Pridwin might be a big beast, but she's not built for fighting. That's where our new project comes in. Only madmen can jump in the way Damn, really coming down to me. This storage bay full of parts is what's left of Liberty Prime. The Brotherhood used it in the Capital Wasteland as a weapon against the Enclave. It's the most advanced robot the Brotherhood has ever had at its disposal. Fortunately, Liberty Prime was destroyed in the line of duty. I've spent the better part of the last few years piecing him back together. And if you think that was easy, try rebuilding a Protectron while you're blindfolded. In order to get Liberty Prime fully operational, we're going to need your help. No problem. I'm sure this only looks worse than it actually is. Huh. I wish I had your confidence, because this is not going to be easy. Now, the good news is that we've got most of Prime's parts fully assembled. The bad news is that it's going to take more than a few rivets and some spot welding to get them working again. The first problem is his CPU. It's fragile, and every time we try to feed power to it, it blows itself out. There's got to be a way to solve that. I do all the maintenance on the Pridwin, so you'd think it'd be a snap. As much as I hate to admit it, Prime's power systems are out of my league. What we need is a robotics expert, and there's someone in Diamond City that fits the bill. Her name's Professor Scara. Locals say she's a wizard when it comes to fixing robots. Why don't you head over there and see if you can talk her into helping us? Oh, and take this with you. Once she sees one of those Cerebro Fusion adapters, I'm pretty sure she'll have a tough time saying no. In the meantime, I'll prep Prime's CPU and we'll see if we can't get the big guy moving. Um, so what we're gonna have to do is just over in Diamond City, uh, start by heading over to the science little section. Ah, what's this little fellow got? Hi. Sorry to let you down, but I'm afraid I'm not in the mood to teach biology lessons today. Actually, I'm looking for Professor Scara. You are? That's strange. So am I. Her normal field expeditions never last more than a few days, but it's been over a week now. I'm afraid something terrible has happened to her. That doesn't bode well. She could be in trouble. Don't worry. I'll find her. Well, that would be wonderful. The last place Professor Scara said she was going is the General Atomics Galleria. I'll mark it on your mapping device. There. Look, if you find her, could you tell her to come home? Alright, so, this place again. Oh joy. Actually, it's a fun little place. It's stupid, it's wacky, it's different. And here we are, woohoo! I don't know why I pretended to be really annoyed about going back here. It didn't make any sense. So obviously we've been here before, we know what the crack is here. So we need to go to the bowling alley just over here, just over yonder. And once we're at the door, we're in. And so, see, we've got a slight problem here. Um, because I've been here before in this playthrough with him, 
none of this has been dealt with. So I just angered and annoyed all of them. Yep. Oh, well, well. Oh, look, I don't, I'm not even shooting them. They attack me and Dance is just annihilating them all. I haven't done anything. Well, I crossed without... Well, now I've done something. I crossed the line without paying. So I killed them all. Well, Dance killed more than I did. Anyway, shush. Anyway, luckily, this isn't too much of a big area to uh, wander through. Just backing up around there, and there she is. So, let's talk. Excuse me, but this is a private research site. If you're here to study these robots, I'll have to insist you relocate to somewhere else. Actually, I was looking for you. Oh, well, that puts an entirely different spin on everything, doesn't it? My name's Professor Skara. And in answer to what I expect to be your next question, Professor is my first name, not my title. The whole thing's rather complicated. Perhaps I'll explain it to you sometime. I'm certain that would be an interesting tale. So, now that I've formally introduced myself, perhaps you'd care to tell me why you're here. I've been sent by the Brotherhood of Steel to ask for your help. How very interesting. I wasn't aware that you people ever asked for anything. While I'm flattered that the Brotherhood of Steel would find me useful, I can't help but be wary of your methods and motivations. Perhaps if you were more specific, we could come to some kind of a mutual understanding. We need your expertise to get Liberty Prime back online. Liberty Prime? Where have I heard that before? Oh, yes. I believe it's some kind of an enormous robot. Intriguing as it sounds, I'm afraid my work at General Atomics isn't complete. Perhaps you could come back another time. Maybe this will change your mind. Intriguing. So, your technicians must use these to calibrate Liberty Prime's internal power system. It's quite an ingenious little device, but it could use some work. Hmm. All right, you've got a deal. I'll wrap up my collecting trip and meet you at your headquarters. Now, if you'll excuse me, I still have a few loose ends to tie up before I leave. See, that really wasn't too hard. Uh, just rock up there, quick conversation. Luckily, we had the enough charisma to do the little perk thing. So anyway, let's go back and see Ingram. Uh, she's up here. And there's Scarra. Just passed her on the... Excuse me, right. Proctor Ingram. Well, things are off to a good start. Isn't that right, Professor? You call this a good start? This poor thing's memory core was completely corrupted. Haven't you people ever heard of inertial dampeners? Titanium shock casing? <sighs> It won't be easy, but I should be able to make a few modifications and get his basic functions online. If you can keep your inept scribes from slowing me down. Hmm, charming, isn't she? Sorry about that, Ingram. Don't worry about it. We might be butting heads on a few issues, but I've dealt with worse. Besides, Skara's worth all the aggravation. I've never seen someone so proficient with Prime's power systems. She's already saved us weeks, maybe months of work. In fact, we're ready for you to start building as electromagnetic actuators. Sure, anything you need. That's what I love about you. You're ready to leap into action, and I bet you don't have the faintest idea what I'm talking about. The actuators are what allows Liberty Prime's arms and legs to move. Prime's new limbs are way too heavy for the simple hydraulic pistons he had in the past. We're gonna have to rip those out, construct a brand new system using electromagnets, and install them in its limbs. What we need you to do is build the actuators for us. All right, Ingram. Enough with the school lessons. Here's a list of materials you'll need, and the plans to make the actuators. Now, before you get that look on your face, you'll be happy to know that we have plenty of the raw materials on that list right here at the airport. The only thing we need you to head out and find is a high-powered magnet. According to Proctor Quinlan, the best place to find one is in any of the ruined hospitals around the Commonwealth. We've already sent out a few teams to find the rest of the high-powered magnets you'll need. They should be back by the time you return. Once you start building the actuators, we need one for each limb, so you'll need to make a total of four. Good luck. Right. Four. So I've got my recipe and... Oh, bullets. Uh, so I've got my recipe, I've got my guide, I know where to go. So yeah, it's this hospital again. Yay! So let's round it in uh, very quickly. Uh... Let's just get in there, find what we want, and get out. Oh, excuse me. And so, here we are. The good old place that we've been countless times before. Like this were funded by privately owned and there's Dan's giving us a history lesson. Um, bear in mind, I used to live around this area at the time. I kind of know him well. Well, not me personally, but 
Soul Survivor did, anyway. So, let's... Oh, God. Follow the icon and pick up the trophy. Now, luckily, because we have been here before, I think I should have all the keys and everything I need to try and make this a bit easier. So, with a bit of editing and some stupidity... Let's quickly get there! Right, so we're down here. So yeah, last time we were in here we fought a load of goons and this was how... Well... It was, um, what's his name? Kent! Silver Shrewd! So yeah, pretty empty now, but there we go. There's a thing we needed, picked up. So... Let's get out of here. So this was a very interesting way of doing it, right? The fact that, um... We actually go into settlement mode to actually build these ingredients. I thought that was actually pretty good, but here we go. One, two, three, and four. So, once that's done, let's, uh... Ingram. That's all four actuators. Delivered and done. Nice work. Thank goodness. I finished restoring Prime's basic program, but trying to explain to him why he can't walk is testing my patience. Well, as soon as my scribes get those actuators in place, we'll have his arms and legs installed in no time. Which brings me to your next assignment. It won't be long before Prime can walk and talk, but he's missing one last important element. His nukes. Without them, his offensive systems aren't operating at peak capacity. Shouldn't be a problem. Just tell me where they are. I wish I could. Prime's bomb pack is fitted for Mark 28 nuclear bombs. The same type of bombs that were dropped from aircraft during the Great War. The Commonwealth was a major staging area for the military's air force, so we assumed we wouldn't have trouble finding them. But since we arrived, our scouting teams haven't located a single bomb. Liberty Prime will be effective when we get him fully operational. He'll lack the proper firepower needed to penetrate the Institute's defenses. She's right. Of course she's right. But before you give up hope, there's actually a silver lining here. Proctor Quinlan has located some records regarding a military installation, which was used as a nuclear weapons storage facility. We're fairly certain this included a stockpile of the Mark 28s. The catch is that the installation is located somewhere within the glowing sea. I'll head out there immediately. Good, because that's exactly what we're asking you to do. Scribe Halen's established a communications point on the frontier of the Glowing Sea. I suggest you head out there first, and establish a signal protocol with her so that the nukes can be airlifted out once you've located them. Hopefully, by the time you've returned, we'll be ready to wake Prime up, and you can say hello. Good luck, Knight. Yay, so we get to see Scribe Halen somewhere that isn't the hospital. Well, not hospital, police station. God, I'm stupid. Right. Who means we've got to go back to the glowing sea. Right. But well, there, there you go. You can kind of see his torso in one arm so far. So, mm, pretty impressive so far. Liking it. Sorry about the uh, rad storm that's going on at the minute. Bit on the old lord side, but, you know, rock and roll. So, what we're going to do is just follow our marker, uh, as usual. I'm just going to go find Scribe, Halen. So she's a bit of a trek away because obviously I've sped through this run. So I haven't got too many locations for fast travel. Look, she wasn't too far away, was she? So let's go talk to her, see what she has to say. Nice little uh, vantage point, I suppose. Of course I need that ammo. Right, what are you going to say? It's good to see you again, Knight. You've come a long way since you stumbled in the Cambridge police station. Thanks, Halen. I assume the place is still in one piece. We're doing the best that we can. We've had the occasional synth attack, but so far we've been able to keep them from overrunning us. Thanks to the reinforcements and the air support, I'd say that site was secure. That's not surprising. After all, it's in good hands. I appreciate that. Anyway, I know you don't have time for small talk, so I'll get right to it. I've had the men set up the equipment we'll need to pinpoint you once you've found the bombs. We've rigged up this distress pulser to emit a unique tone that we'll be listening for. When you find the bombs, plant the pulser, and we'll handle the rest. After that, you should probably head back to Proctor Ingram and bring her your report. Doesn't sound too difficult. Ah, oh, no. Not at all. You're only heading back into the most inhospitable place in the entire Commonwealth. Look, I know you've been through the Glowing Sea before, but remember to keep an eye on your Geiger counter. If you don't, 
The radiation will cook you from the inside out. Good luck, Knight. Nah, I'm not going to worry about that. Now, obviously, we have done the glowing sea quite a bit. We did it when we were looking at Virgil and all that kind of stuff. So, just going to speed through this to, so we get to said location. Now, it's a bit of a ways. And see, for this particular walkthrough, I said um, I haven't unlocked anything. This is. Uh, I kind of just sped. So, there's a lot of sites here I haven't got. So, I'm going to cut around that. And then let's just go to our final resting place. Why am I gonna, I'm not dying. Let's just go to the location, eh? Uh, here it is, the last, the Sentinel site. Ooh. Oh, and you can see crates there with the big bombs, and that's what we've got to do. So basically, just your typical dungeon. Uh, get all the way to the target, and wow, that. It's one impressive door. Okay. So, uh, basically he's working our way down to the bottom now. Completely forgot when I was doing this that I had my power armor, so I could have just leapt to the bottom. But because I forgot that, um, we've got to do it the normal way around now. So, just wandering around, working down, the uh, flicking outdoors, doing a bit of puzzling, blah, 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 blah. It's exactly what you expect. Oh, there is a magazine though. Cool. Awesome. <laughs> Sounding the awesome tales, even. Uh, some old tapes. Uh, that. Yeah, it just says that it's a uh, blast, so everything's in lockdown at the moment. So, um, as we open this terminal here. Well, sorry, sorry to use it. There you go. Everything's in lockdown. Can't do a thing. Right. So, as I say, gotta walk around. Why did I not think just to jump? I got no fall damage. See so, ya. Yeah. Here we go. Making this video longer than it needs to be because I'm so clever and I'm so good. I put myself down a lot, don't I? Better than being a cocky twat. So, let's get down to the bottom. The longest way imaginable. How many times do you reckon I'm going to get lost doing this? I reckon it's going to be quite a few. So, yep, yeah, this. What do you reckon? Going to be locked down again? Can't access it? Yeah, lock down again, can't access it. Alright, so we've gone down. Now we have to go up. Perfect, because that makes sense. But it's our exit gets us to an elevator. So, oh, that's not working. So I've gone the wrong way. Told you I was going to get lost. Jeez. Right, how do you do this again? Oh, yeah, it's door. Can't use the door, though. So that one it. Back here. Of course I was going to jump down. But I've not gone right to the bottom. Just to a little bit. And... Oh, shit. Jeez. Oh. I forgot about them. Oh no, it's a ghoul, not a synth. That well looked like a synth for a second then. It's a ghoul. Oh dear. So yep, obviously this is the nuclear stockpile place, which is kind of why the uh, the Boston area was targeted. And there's also, uh, when we did our video on the glowing sea, there was the, that oh, thing. Um, go down and stuff. Uh, it leads you to this big base at the bottom. So yeah, the, that was why basically Boston was targeted because of all these nukes and everything, it was a huge danger zone. So, I have to take out the mole rats and uh, more <laughs> simps, apparently. Yeah, let's take out all the simps ever. Alright, so there's a lot of killing. We've seen this before, so skip! Right, so basically this is a gantry. Um, you get, I got lost again doing this. I got lost more leaving actually than I did getting there. I suppose. Oh no, you have a boat. You have a marker, a location marker, both ways. I'm just silly. So you see that area's blocked off, so we've only got to go this way. Ugh. Oh, that was a combination of a hiccup and a burp at the same time. Yeah. Fruity. And uh, some more goals. Cool. Oh, legendary. Cool. Skip. So, back on the trail, and so, yep, yeah, this is where we obviously came around. So, let's go down here, and we're back onto the gantry walkway bit. So, just following this round, and eventually it starts forking off. So, that's where fork, F O R K. Okay? So, yeah, we've got that way and that way. Let's go this way. And just following the gantry round. Just looking, looking, looking. 
some more ghouls. Laid on the floor, they're not really attacking. But that is the end where we're meant to go. So let's go there. Oh dear, who are you? Hey. State your purpose, stranger. You walk on Atom's hallowed ground. I'm looking for some bombs. Nuclear bombs. You trivialize that which resides here. This place is holy. The children of Atom have sworn to guard this place until the time of the Great Divide. None shall enter. Trust me, I'm on your side here. I want to help you out. Atom has no need of help from non-believers. When he returns to us, these relics will carry his word and his glory to all corners of the Earth. That is why they must be safeguarded. This man is obviously delusional. I recommend we switch tactics. I want to spread his... uh... glory. Look, the bombs will get used, okay? Isn't that what you want? Perhaps then I have misjudged you. If you would see these relics used, then Atom's will is done. Take this, and prepare to enter his inner sanctum. Follow the brilliance of the glow, and it shall lead you to the relics. May Atom's radiance warm your soul. All right, terminal password. So, uh, obviously, this all could become hostile. Uh, so let's just use the terminal. We've got the password. Let's go through. Uh, I should have really disabled turrets. I didn't know. I'll do it now, though. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'll just help me want to make everything hostile because I'm an idiot and that's what I'm going to do. You know, nuts on the road. So let's open the door to the main bit. Oh, wow. An assault drum. Uh, didn't see that. And not much through there. So, let's go. So, looping background. And then we can go through the main bulkhead door, which will get us to the uh, Mark 28. And here they are. Quite a lot of them. Uh, hell of a lot of them. So that's the marker we picked up, Halen. That's gone through. So now we speak to Dance. Dance. Now that this site's been secured, you should return to the airport immediately. I'll remain on watch until the vertebrates arrive. Good idea. Wouldn't want these things falling into the wrong hands. Exactly. I'll meet you aboard the Pridwin as soon as these bombs are counted, tested, and loaded. Outstanding work, Knight. All right. And there we go. So, now we've got to speak to Ingram again. Uh, it's a very impressive place. Uh, you can tell why the Chinese wanted this place gone. Shame they didn't do any damage. Like, they, they hit him really well. Oh, uh, well. So, let's just go have a wander. Now, this is a stupid thing, because there's, there's a forking road where it split, like I said. I'm not going here alone, and I've lost my companion. I just wanted to see what was here. I couldn't remember. And the answer was... The first aid kit. Worth it. Alright, let's go see Ingram. Oh, I missed this fork, apparently. Uh, so yeah, we've got some bump beds. Uh, can't believe I just walked straight past that. Well, you saw where, where I just came in, where that rubble was, which way I had to go around. Where we fought a couple of goals. God. Some minor loot, I guess. Stim uh, oh, uh, Brotherhood of... Brotherhood? Uh, Children of Atom are here. There we go. Cool. Soap. Excellent. I need a wash. So, doing just exactly what Dance asked us to. We're back here. Let's go see Proctor Ingram, see what she has to say. Hopefully that loadout's all been picked up now, and that's all to safe deliver to the Brotherhood. Dance should be on his way back, I hope. Oh, wow. They've been busy while I've been away. God. Looking good. Glad he's on our side. Ooh. I could stay looking at this thing forever. I don't even know I want to progress anymore. I could just... Wow. As I said, glad he's on our side. All right. Enough of that. So let's see what Proctor Ingram has to say, eh? And here we go. Proctor Ingram? 
Looks like the Mark 28s are gonna do the trick. That was a good find. I'll work with your team to make sure that the Mark 28 nukes remain stable when loaded into his bomb pack. Shouldn't take us more than a day or so. Well, Professor, I have to admit, we couldn't have done this without you. I appreciate the confidence, but I'm still a bit concerned. We haven't fully thrown the switch on Liberty Prime, and I'm just hoping all the work I've done to keep his system stable is going to hold. I have full confidence in the abilities of everyone here. I appreciate that. Proctor, all the readouts look green. I think it's time for you to activate the power transfer. Actually, I think I'm gonna let you press the button. After all, without your help, we'd still be staring at a pile of disassembled parts. I'm in total agreement with Proctor Ingram. The honor should belong to you. There we go. So let's go press the big button. Actually, no, we're going to save that for the next part. It is very tempting, though. Anyway, you stay safe. You stay beautiful. I'll see you next time when we press the button.